Matt Skadge here and we're just at the uh, uh, Rimby uh, International Truck Museum here. Um, just going to walk around and show you guys everything. That one's actually a barracuda, I believe, but uh, that's my mom standing over there. They have a wicket license plate collection here, too. Goes all the way back down the wall. Some memorabilia. Nice color. So this would be a D series. I'm just gonna. This is a 1912 uh, auto wagon, and I'll just. And this is uh, one I'm going to show you in a second here. If you need, if you have any questions, you can ask me. I don't have any answers, but you can ask me. Oh, perfect. And I'll get the young lady to come up here, and she can take you to the other building. Okay? Really appreciate that. Thanks. So this is the one that posters for. And I want to point out how cool the wheels are. They just don't make steel stamped wheels that cool anymore. A little bit hard to see in there. I don't want to, of course, open the door or anything. It is a museum, so. Nice little KB there. Oh, here we got a window down. We can look any better here. Tell it's been uh, a work truck at some point, but and this is the uh, L series, and I've actually owned one of these myself. This is a 51. I had a, a 52 L110. Here's for the uh, KB, where's the before picture? There's for the uh, L110.
It's a cool thing about internationals. You can always tell the year range just by the uh, the series. If it's a this is a C series, and then they had the, the D series. I showed you back there, and then the KB. Well, they actually had a K, and then a KB, and then a L series, and then we have the R series there. And it just continues on up. So this is essentially the same cab design now that started with the L series and it's used in the uh, R series as well. And then this is the uh, S series. So here we go. And they are, didn't look too bad. And on this S. And then this is the uh, the uh, 1957 is their Golden Jubilee Edition Anniversary Edition. So uh, that's pretty cool to see one of those. Here's the uh, quite a ride up there on that. Hopefully you can make out some of that. So they they only came, you could get other trucks that didn't have that trim that year, I believe. But uh, if you got the Golden Jubilee edition, they were always uh, white and uh, that coppery gold color like that. to the A series now. So that's a, uh, a different cab I should mention when you go from the um, the S series was the last of the Comfort Vision cab they called it and then they changed to this cab design. But that Comfort Vision cab um, that started with the L series that ran right into the uh, 70s on some of their larger trucks. I'm not sure exactly the uh, models and whatnot, but uh, I know I heard that it's uh, it ran right up into the 70s. International really liked to. They're a pretty unique company because they uh, they like to do things like that, and they also were willing to customize their trucks to meet customer demands. Like if I've heard of them putting different engines in them and stuff than what they would have come with normally at the uh, customer's request to try and meet their needs, things like that. So I always thought they were a cool, innovative type company. And then this one is just not sure. It looks like somebody's toy to me. Yeah, I think there's a bit of a write-up on it. Got a Cummins in it. Don't want to make this too crazy long, but there's so much to see here. I'll just quickly walk down the back of the ones I didn't show you. This is particularly, I wanted you to see the back of this one because that's the 57th uh, anniversary edition Golden Jubilee. And I just think that's so cool, it looks custom. All the tail lights are set in there. I like that double back window too, it's such a unique and distinctive feature, you can instantly identify them. 
I think, uh, what was it, 53? They dropped that. Something like that. a lot of cool memorabilia all around here so if you ever get the chance to make it out here it's in Rimby, Alberta. Yeah. And you could spend all day here just looking at the old pictures I mean just to give you an example. What a cool old pictures they have. And they actually changed stuff a lot here because I was here a couple of years ago and I really can't believe how much they've changed in such a little time. Um, Chevy, but they're not too uh, set on their uh, international rule here. They have a few other breeds here, which is cool. I like them all. If it's a car, I can appreciate it. I can't speak as much about this side of the building. Uh, my interest lays more heavily in the earlier stuff, so I know a bit more about that, and I've owned a few, but uh, when I was a little kid, my, my parents actually had a truck similar to one of these uh, front end on it. Actually, I still remember playing in it when I was very little. That was our playhouse. It was broken down by then, but it would have been probably about a 68 International truck my dad had. Quite an impressive collection. I'm just going to walk down the back here. More pictures all the way down this wall. A couple of toy trucks there. Nash down there with his mummy. It's my wife, Marisol. It's kind of neat. I prefer the uh, round tail lights there. It's more truck like.
trucks here aren't really restored to show quality, but they're they're very nice. They'd make nice drivers, that's for sure. Donation, it looks like. There's a really old uh, jack that would have been a service station back in the day. That's pretty cool. Wow. Always amazes me how some of this old stuff just ends up looking so cool. an international uh, harvester refrigerator as well. Old engine diagnostic tester. A little bigger than your modern day scan tool. But Hope I didn't miss any of this cool stuff on the wall. There's so much of of it everywhere, so some old winch. Okay, I'm just gonna knock down the front here quick. 